Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to Limbo Zone. This is my first episode in the new series I'm doing uh, on Minecraft's uh, no, no, that's not again. Minecraft animations. Uh, I'm at the in the process of learning, reading, and l trying to make my own Minecraft animations. So I thought, as I learn each step, I shall bring a tutorial video to yourselves. In case you want to attempt to do it yourself, then feel free to share some of your creations with me, and I'll co comment, like, like them, and try and spread them around a bit for you. But this is going to be the first one. This is going to be based on how to get your scenery done. Your set where you want your characters to walk around. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, I've got this little site here called uh, MinecraftWorldMap.com, uh, where you can get loads of new and old Minecraft maps. Uh, sometimes I may, may say may need to be converted for your version of Minecraft. Just load your Minecraft up, click on the world, and it'll convert for you. But you download one, and as you can see, I've got one. On my desktop, so you just right click and copy that. I'm not going to do I'm not going to actually do that process because I've already got it, I've already converted, I don't want to do it again. So we're going to type app date uh, percentage app data percentage, and you should get a Roman folder come up. So you click Roman, put it in your dot Minecraft file, and under saves, and that's where your worlds come up. Now, once you've done that, start the game, and it'll say must be converted. Click on it, and Minecraft will convert for yourself. But then you're going to get this program called Mineways. So you can open Mineways, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click Open and select Terrain.png. Then browse to where you've got your Mineways folder, and select one of these terrains. As you can see, you've got jungle and a few others so I'm just going to click set the default then you're going to go to open world and it'll automatically pick up your minecraft worlds so let's look for the one we want which is animation world now you can use this site or you can create your own and do use bits of your own world and stuff like that but as you can see we we'll zoom in and then what, what you're going to do is you're going to leave these all the same max height yeah lower depth, leave however you want and all you're going to do is select a bit of terrain you want as you can see it comes up like a map like google maps so I'm going to select this little portion here, portion here you can select it as much as you want so right click keep hold of it and drag it uh, that pops up just click uh, the current selection lower depth the hidden lower layers when you select, select it in three dimensions and they're in lower depth so in the second let's click yes see what happens right and then we're going to go to file and export for rendering now what i always do i find is I've created a folder called scenery so i'm going to call it this one uh forest map but you can call it whatever you want for your own reference to keep you uh, up to date with it. So we're going to click in there and we're going to click uh, Forest. See if it actually uh, saves. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, right about here, it's exporting that part of the map. So uh, I'll go back to the folder and I'll check to make sure it has saved. Uh, yep, as you can see, it's saved uh, the OBJ file, which is the most important one, the MTL, the Forest Alpha, RGB, and the RGBA. So now we're going to, going to go and open Cinema 4D. This is a similar pro <coughs> excuse me. This is a the same exact similar process if you're using Maya, but this is Cinema 4D. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the folder and we're going to drag the obj file into minecraft you want to set the scale between one and three i normally do give you a good distance good size on it as you can see there we go there's the size on it but what we're going to do now is wait for these textures to load we're going to get it looking properly because as you can see it's just a grayscale model of it at the moment so we're going to highlight all these down here and we're going to go to basic we're going to untick specular 
and tick alpha and we're going to go on to color and when it says texture we're going to load well search browse to where the folder is in see text file we're going to load the rgba one and then sampling we're going to turn our sampling off yep to none there we go we're going to click on alpha and we're going to do exactly the same okay, none there we go I'm going to print a preview but there's our minecraft world imported as you can see I'm still trying to learn camera angles and all that so I am trying to give you a better view but that's how you import a world into minecraft as you can see it's got all the trees and everything and then you can just once I figure out how to actually move into a position I want I shall let you know but then you can zoom into what part you want say over here and you can whoops don't have a clue what I've done there and you can actually then start placing your characters and everything but I, like I said I'm still working on this so I'm still trying to figure out how to do it, uh, like do it all properly. I just thought I'd bring you this first tutorial part of how to import your characters into Minecraft. Uh, no, sorry, wrong way around. How to import your bits of scenery into Cinema 4D. So then you can, I mean, you can work on the textures and that yourself as well, make them a bit better. Let's have a look, see what we can do. What happens when we click RGB? Not much. What is if we click RGB on this one? Not much. <laughs> Makes it transparent. Cool. But we don't like it transparent. There we go. Looks a bit better. You can play around and get it looking a bit better and stuff like that. I mean, it does render out better once you've uh, actually rendered, rendered it. As you can see, it's starting to render now. In a minute, you'll see uh, orange boxes on the screen, which means it's actually rendering that image that you want. But there is also ways to add skies as well, which I'm still trying to learn. I mean, as far as I've got, I've got create, got to create an environment and sky, but it doesn't seem to give me the options for clouds and everything. So. That I'm still trying to work on. Looks like it's supposed to have a it's supposed to have a bit of a sky there. But I mean, any tips that you want to give me or stuff like that, uh, feel more than welcome to. Uh, I'm always open to suggestions, as they say. But uh, I've been uh, Limbozone, and thank you for watching my first piece of how to import scenery into cinema 4d one thing i would like to know if someone knows how to do it is how to stop it from highlighting that all the time because that does get really 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 annoying but you can even rotate it rotate your world around look way rotate that part around spin round spin round and like that yep but uh I've been Limbo Zone. Please feel free to drop a like and comment and I will do a video on how to do it in May. I'm also going to do some videos on Minimator, which is a pretty cool program. But thanks for watching and peace out.